Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to make a tattoo update thing because I just got my fourth tattoo today. Um, me and my brother were getting one for our birthday, it was our present to each other. Um, not that we picked each other's, but like we just went together. So he's getting his, and turns out my dad is getting one as well, so that's pretty cool. So. There's some kids over, so I'll just try and talk over the screaming or talk in the um, little breaks in between. Yeah, so my first tattoo I got done in or oh, at the Genuine Hustle in Takapuna. Actually, I think it was on my break when I was at um, in retail and I called up and said hey would I be able to come in after work to do this it's just a little bit of writing and he was like yeah sure and I came in and he did it then and it like didn't even take very long and then I just went straight home um, so that was a really good first tattoo experience and I still love it obviously <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so it is this on my arm. It didn't hurt too badly. The most painful bit was here, um, which is pretty normal. It says, you are a poem that breathes. I got it because I wanted my first one to be something that was going to be relevant for my whole life, which it is because I am a poet still am a poet. I will always be a poet. Um, yeah, and it just flowed really nicely. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to probably eventually fill my whole leg with um, little line drawings. I'll show you in a minute and you'll get... But yeah, I really like the, the tidy, simple um, line stuff. I don't know why. I've thought about getting a colour tattoo, but I'm not sure yet. So we'll see how it goes. Still got heaps of years. The one on my arm was $150 by the way. Just in case that is going to help anybody. Okay, so I don't know how good the lighting is going to be, but here it goes. Um, this was my third one. Um, this is a person or a girl under the ground, but she's still growing, which I, um, I got actually quite a while after, um, I was, di I was diagnosed with glandular fever and chronic fatigue, so it's kind of like she's sleeping, which I do a lot, but I'm still growing, even though I lie on my bed for 12 hours a day, you know? Um, yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. That was a bit of a spontaneous, actually all my tattoos have been kind of spontaneous, um, which I like. Um, I have so many ideas of what ones I want, like I want heaps, as I said, I want to cover my leg. So, um, yeah. It doesn't really matter to me which order I get them in if I'm just gonna get all the ones that I want anyway so yeah some people <laughs> I know people really don't get that like the whole um but won't you regret it and you might not like it in 40 years but to be honest um, I don't have time to regret things like that. Like, it's, it's just a tattoo. Cover it up if you don't like it. Get it lasered off. You know, like... I understand some people think different, think about it differently and want to um, fully plan out their thing. 
Can you see these bags under my eyes right now and how oily I am? Take another shower. <sighs> so you have to take a shower every second day. It's so draining. Anyway, so I don't know if you can see that. This is my. This was my second one. Um, I got it with my mum. She got one at the same time. I will first hurt me in this because I don't have my glasses on so I can't actually see the camera when I'm standing back there. But anyway, um, yes. Mum wanted a tattoo and so I was like, we'll go and get one together and we went to a friend. She got a daisy and then I got a hand holding a daisy because I didn't just want a flower for some reason and I saw this. So that was cool. And she like you know you find the original and then you draw it so mum actually drew it and drew the flower in it so that was cool um and this is my latest one. Ooh, look at that ass yeah um this is the one i got today still pretty fresh a bit bloody um i'm probably going to take this off after i film this video and wash it um, but yeah, it is, it is a face, it is, um, a face and then it's kind of like slipped and then the hand is holding it so it's sort of like two faces that have been morphed together or are unmorphing, which I thought was really cool. Um, and it says, um, our brains are sick but that's okay, which is a quote from... A 21 Pilots song and because I love 21 Pilots and I really like that lyric I've always liked that lyric because it is true like lots of us do have sick brains me included um, and that's okay like we still get used to it and survive and stuff like that so um, I thought that was really nice um, yeah so the the my second and third were forty dollars each because we went with a friend, and the one I got today was one twenty, um, which was really good because it's actually better than the one that's on my arm. And the guy who did it was really nice. We went to Sea of Ink in Takapuna, which is actually in the same building that Genuine Hustle used to be in. Um, so that was quite cool. Yeah, and they were all really nice, and it was a really good place to go. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I know the line ones, like, won't fade or stretch very well, but, um, I'm okay with that, to be honest. Like, that's age. It's like, once if, once, like, you know, the old photos go orangey yellow, you don't throw them out. You keep them, because you know it's still a photo it's just old like yeah that's just my take on it like I just think the art side of tattooing is cool like the fact that you can have something that means something to you or not on your body as a piece of art it's like it's like dyeing your hair or you know, like getting plastic surgery. In my mind, like I know like hardly anyone has the same opinions as me, but that's just how I feel. Um yeah, that they're just cool. I'm sure how like half the ones I get that will fill up my leg will just be like random. I just want it filled up, like they won't mean anything, and that's okay, like I don't mind having tattoos that actually don't mean anything, they're just cool to look at, because it's art, like art doesn't have to mean anything, it can mean different things to different people, so, yeah. anyway, I'll stop talking, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any questions you have about tattoos or the places that I mentioned. Um, I'll put links below and yeah. All my social media links are below as well if you want to follow me on the old gram. See 
new picks I have of the tattoos. Um, yeah, I think that's about all. Hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see more. I'll be posting more often, hopefully, um, as I get my tired schedule into a routine. Um, so that will be nice. And yeah, hopefully I'm going to have some cool things coming up with my hair. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye!